This is Jim Smith of Golden Real Estate. Welcome to Golden's favorite subdivision, the village at Baton Ridge, and to 189 Eagle Drive. This home is located right near the front of the subdivision, looking out over a berm past Highway 93 towards North Table Mountain over there and South Table Mountain over there. You'll see it better from the deck. In the other direction is the Mount Galbraith Open Space Park. And just a block in that direction is a, is a city park, the White Ash Mine Park. This is a quiet little circle street within this, what I call a cul-de-sac subdivision because no one drives through this subdivision. There's only access from Highway 93. Let's go in now and take a look at this fine home. Here's the view from the front before going in, and you might enjoy this. This is a representative of the kind of uh, subdivision we're in here with children swinging from a tree with their parents. Now let's go inside. Look at this, uh, what they've done to the deck. It used to be a wooden front porch or deck, and they uh, replaced it with this uh, slate. Uh, very nice, uh, very nice job here. Let's go inside now. Coming in the front on a tile floor here, but then the rest of this area is uh, the main floor except for the bedrooms is hardwood. These are Corian counters. Nice 42 inch cabinets with pulls on both the drawers and the doors. And nice high intensity halogen lighting underneath the uh, counter, the cabinets, a gas cooktop, pantry over there. Here's the eating area of the kitchen and opens onto the deck. Well, since we're here, let's go out and look at the deck. Here's an outside eating area. Deck extends the full width of the house. You hear a little bit of highway noise here much less than uh, years ago because the city installed this this dirt berm and if this were a two-story house you might be able to see the highway but being a ranch all you see here is over the highway there's a South Table Mountain over there with its famous Castle Rock formation and over there are the climbing cliffs of North Table Mountain and the School of Mines is where those uh, red tile roofs are. Up there is uh, Green Mountain and then over there is Lookout Mountain. In the uh, summer you can see the fireworks which are ignited on the fields, the sporting fields of the School of Mines. That's the access from the master bedroom there. Let's go back in this way though and show you the rest of the main floor. Back inside now, here's the living room with a and dining room. There's the dining room there with this walk around gas fireplace. The carpet here, it's not a rug sitting on the hardwood, it is inlaid within the hardwood. Over here is an entertainment center. Back on the hardwood now. Let's walk around this way. In the front, facing the street, is a study, also carpeted. Very, very large study with the plantation shutters there. Here's the smaller room. It's a bedroom with a closet right over here. And here's the mudroom going to the garage. There are hookups here. If you look carefully, you can see there are the hookups for a laundry. They chose to move the laundry to the basement. But you could have the laundry here if you wanted to. Here's the two and a half car garage. I call it a two and a half car garage because of this area over here. There's a window there, but it's obscured by all these uh, storage cabinets, which are staying as are some of the hooks for holding bicycles and ladders. 
Let's go back inside now. See the other bedrooms on this floor. Here's the second guest bedroom for this level. Used as an office here. And here's the guest bathroom with a shower serving the uh, serving the two guest bedrooms. Now here's the master suite. Master suite also has a fireplace, also has vaulted ceilings with a skylight. There are five skylights, four in the living room, dining room, and one in here. There's a sliding glass door to the deck. Here is the master bathroom. It has a beautiful glass walled shower here. And then it has a jacuzzi tub. Corian counters, all the counters in this home are Corian and uh, love some of her artwork here. Does not stay, of course. Here's the closet. The closet is not only accessed from the bathroom here, it's accessed directly from the bedroom, this way. So that's the master bedroom. Now let's go downstairs and check out the finished basement. In the basement now, here is the wide open area, the common area, with a uh, wet bar here. There's a sink right there and nice cabinets under the counter. Here is the laundry that they created here. And the machines are included. And there's a water softener lights and some storage down here. Oh, and that's access to the crawl space under the study and that guest bedroom in the front. Here is a built-in fish tank that stays, as do the fish. Here's a second kitchen. Not complete, it doesn't have a dishwasher. There's a storage room, not a bedroom, but just a storage room because there are no windows in here. But it's fully finished and carpeted. Oh, let me show you the furnace room because this is where the tank, the fish tank is serviced. It's also where the furnace and hot, weeder, hot water heater are. Here's a Home theater of sorts, just a family room with surround sound wiring. Here's the bathroom for this level. Nice colorful tile floor. That is a sauna, a dry sauna. And next to a, a bathtub, toilet, and another sink. Here's the guest bedroom. It's got these French doors with blinds on it and above grade windows on both sides. Suitable guest quarters next to that full bathroom and sauna. So that's that's the interior of the house. Let's go out back and look at the, uh, the backyard patio. It's got this uh, I'm guessing about seven foot square hot tub, which is included. Here's a uh, sitting area with a water feature. Some xeriscaping over there and in this direction and the stairs up to the deck outside the main floor. No grassy backyard, but it is fenced. And so you could have an animal if you want. This home is pet free, however, no pets. Also smoke free, of course. No cigarette smokers live here. So that's the house. Let's go out front and wrap it up.
Thanks for touring this fine mountain ridge home with me today. If you'd like to see it in person, I'd be delighted to show it to you. You can reach me anytime on my cell phone at 303-525-1851. Or you can email me at jim at goldenrealestate.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.